Hey, how's it going? It's Jasper from No More Codes here, and today I'm going to explore a new tool called the .com, which is a very interesting no code website builder. And in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can use iframe to bring your 3D creations into the .com uh, from Spline, which is another no code uh, 3D creation tool that I really love. And hopefully along the way, can I can give you a quick glance of how um, the user interface works, the overall workflow. Um, goes in the .com and also uh, quickly show, show you guys how you can utilize blocks and variables to make reusable um, components in the .com. So upon entering the um, main user interface, I'm going to first create a new site. And when I'm in this new site, you will see the bottom panel, which can be resized and docked anywhere on your screen. Um, this panel is basically our main interface to design our website with. Everything is configured in this panel. Unlike other tools in the market, um, this layout is definitely not conventional because most tools we have seen um, actually list out elements or objects vertically, but for the.com, it is in a cell format and they're listed out horizontally. So it is something you will need to get used to at first, but once you do, the interface is actually quite fluid and intuitive to use. And we can make a new page with this plus button. Um, obviously the new page will have nothing to start with. So we can either add elements, which are the most basic unit of um, objects that you can add onto your page, or you can add blocks, which are pre-made um, one or many elements that you can reuse anywhere on your project. As you can see, I have no blocks made yet, which is what I'm going to make now. So let's go back to the worksheet, which is what I consider the home editor page for you. Um, and we are going to add a new block. I'm going to name it spline iframe. And inside this block, I am going to add an element and I'm going to search for iframe here. And when the iframe is added, you can see that there is an input field that needs to be filled in. Uh, this is basically where you put your spline URL or any iframe URL that you want. Um, in my case, I would head to spline, um, generate a URL, and then copy and paste this iframe URL into the input field. Um, we can see that the iframe is working and it is showing our three 3D creation from spline. Okay, but the iframe is quite small. I would like the iframe to take up the whole screen. So what I'm going to do is to find the width and height of this iframe element and put in 100 view width, so VW and 100 view height. So for those who know CSS, we, we will find it's, this very intuitive and straightforward to um, configure. Um, now the iframe is taking the entire screen. Nice. Okay, now if we go back to the homepage, we can add this block into the new page and voila, the iframe is showing on this page. Um, and if it doesn't show, show up, you can just refresh. So, cause sometimes iframe does take, um, a refresh to work and we can simply add this block anywhere throughout, um, uh, our entire project. But there is one problem with this approach, um, which is that, uh, the content of the iframe will be the same across the website. Uh, this will work if you don't really mind it. You just want to use the same iframe. Um, but what if. I want to change the content of this iframe. So I want the iframe styling to take up the whole screen, the styling to stay consistent, but the content to be dynamically changing. So if I want to change the content, I can quickly change it. With the current setup, I will need to go into this block and change the URL from this input field manually. Um, but this will mean that all of the iframe block uh, that uh, across my website will be changed. What if I just want to change one? How can we make this thing dynamic? Um, this is where variables come in. So by making a variable, by making the URL uh, a variable, every time you reuse this block, you can just dynamically change the content, which in this case is the iframe URL. Uh, we can add a variable by clicking on this button down here. And now I'm going to call this variable iframe source. And once this is set up, you can see that in this input field is now showing equal to var iframe source. Now, if you use this block on your page, you can just, you know, input your iframe source in this cell. And after refresh, the iframe will be showing the content accordingly. 
So with variables, every time you reuse the block, you will need to input a um, iframe URL. So it's more dynamic, but um, I guess if you don't mind the iframe to be the same everywhere across your website, you don't need to use variable. But this is a very quick way to make your block more modular and reusable and ultimately to improve your efficiency if you want the style of the block to stay consistent, but content to be dynamic. And there you have it. Um, it is a quick look at the .com uh, and the, the workflow and how the interface will look um, and how you go about making a blog, make it reusable and make it dynamic with uh, variables. Um, if you're interested, give this tool a try and let me know what you think of this tool. Also, let me know if there's any topics that you would like to learn um, and I will make a tutorials on those topics. Um, so last but not least, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter. I really try to be, I'll try to be more engaged um, on Twitter. I'll post more and engage with you guys more. So if you want, follow me over there. And until next time, ciao.